I'm Jennifer Murray Keller. Welcome to my Diary of a Pregnant Artist series. I just finished up my 35th week of pregnancy. This was a good work week for me. I got to finish up this painting study that I've been working on and I really love the result of it. I had some days this week working on this painting where I felt like I just couldn't focus. Like I was too tired and distracted by either baby stuff or pregnancy stuff or whatever. And there was one day when I was working on the eye that's on the right side, the more dominant eye of this study. And I just couldn't get in that flow state of painting and things were just not for whatever reason, <laughs> just like not turning out well. Like I couldn't get the values or colors right and everything just kept getting, seeming to like get more messy the more I tried to fix it and get it to be like moving it away from this like block and stage to something that's more realized. But I kept at it even though it wasn't going well and then by the end of the day when I still couldn't pull it together, what I ended up doing is just re-simplifying that eye and really just getting the basic structure of it and colors and values super simple and kind of like taking it back to the block and stage so then by tomorrow I have a good base to work on it. But then I discovered something really cool when I like had cleaned up my paints and I stepped away from the painting and went back to it and I was looking at it and the way that I re-simplified that eye to take it back into the block and stage there was some stylization that I did to it that I thought was so interesting and really cool. And it was like, I made the eye more structural than it actually would look like in real life. And I really, really liked that effect. It was like still very representational. You knew it was an eye, but it was like more, I don't, it had this layer of stylization where the structure of it was more focused on that I really, really found super interesting. And I was looking at it and it was reminding me more of older styles of painting where they would put more emphasis on idealizing certain areas and stylizing certain areas. And I don't mean idealizing by making everything like classically beautiful, but idealizing in the way that it's like, they're more after something specific than what you would normally see in real life. So if you take, for example, like Michelangelo or Leonardo da Vinci's uh, drawings specifically and their paintings as well. But if you're just looking at the drawings and you take away like the, like the, the color and everything, so it's more simplified like a drawing, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't see the figures that they're drawing or the portraits. You wouldn't see those people walking around today. Like they don't really look like people that you'd see out and about but they still look super representational. Like, you know, they're people, they just have this layer of like really nice stylization added onto it. And I really like that. I got out all my old art books and with other old masters, more from Renaissance to like maybe right before the 19th century. And just looking at all of those ways that they stylized elements of the people to bring out certain things. And I really, really <laughs> like that. And so it was nice that this kind of happy accident happened because being pregnant and getting closer to my due date, I am a lot more distracted. I've got other future big changes happening soon that's on my mind rather than like, it's like harder to get into the flow state of painting. So yeah, I really like that this happened because I now like, painting that way and then working more on that painting in that way like with stylizing certain areas and it's, it's like I'm not so much it's like I'm divorcing myself more from working from life or or the or the the photo reference and I'm using that now even more so literally as a reference but putting my own ideas and filters into the image to get something that I really <laughs> that I really really like and it feels then like I'm even in more control now to get a really interesting cool image that's really specific to my vision. So that yeah this was a fun week working on this painting and then even more so with the 
background then I kind of just let go and added in all of these more swirls and like design work and like decoration in the background with how I was painting lines and like bringing that into the table but blurring it out so you know that that head is resting on a table but it's um yeah I guess more made up and kind of got like a dreamy quality because the table melts away into the background of like that design and all that. So oh, this week was really, really fun painting. Also this week, I got to have a baby shower, which is so nice and so exciting and it went so well. I didn't think I was gonna get to have a baby shower because of the pandemic, but my mom and my best friend um, did a virtual Zoom baby shower for me. So Eric and I were in the baby's room with the computer and so we got to see all of our friends and family and it was so it was so nice I'm so glad that we could do that it definitely brought some normalcy to this weird time that we're in right now but this week was really good I feel like I'm getting more focused and I guess each week that I'm like trying out this new painting practice and developing my style more and just different ways of painting to make it more fun and flexible and free. I feel like I'm just like getting pushed into this direction that just keeps feeling more and more right, which feels really good because, which was definitely my concern, and I know a lot of women artists talk about this, that uh, having a baby like really can slow down like everything else in your life, like painting art career wise, but I feel really lucky. I mean, I still have those moments of worry, but I feel like this week especially, um, it's been a lot of really good changes and it's all because of like me thinking in ways of wanting to paint to accommodate motherhood <laughs> and all that. And it's been, it's been really positive and really making painting a lot more fun and making me really step out of my own box that I put myself in before and just seeing a lot of new different possibilities for my work and how I work, which is really good.